So this is the moment when you see the first um, evidence of the bushfire. Like on this side, it's all green, all normal. Uh, and on the other side, it's just black trees. This is the first time I've seen it since it got demolished. It's pretty, yeah, a bit surreal. So that's where I first saw the smoke. It was that over on the horizon, on the hill. Mum and Dad, their plan was always to stay and protect the house. I knew that I wouldn't leave without them. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have felt okay doing that. I wanted to help fight it if they needed. Then my first thought was the camera and documenting it. I'm a professional photographer. I have been for the last seven years. I've traveled all over the place. I hiked the lake from New Zealand. I hiked up Mount Everest to Everest Base Camp. And so I've always taken a lot of risks but capturing the fire, this was definitely the riskiest photography I've ever done. The ladder was set up here and Dad was up on the roof. I climbed up. Dad threw up the hose to me and then he got me to stuff it in the gutters. And then we could see the bombers start to go in. I was still in this sense of denial as well. I was like, it's going to go around, the wind's going to change direction. I went out the front door. And then I looked over and then I could see the flames through the trees. It was like this wall of flame. That feeling of denial was ripped away. I just remember being weak in the knees and just being like, like having to hold myself up. And I don't know how I did it, but I was like, I have to capture this. This moment is blacked out, but I know that I was there and then I know that I was in the bedroom looking out the window and you could see the wind blowing and then some embers jumped over and then suddenly the whole thing was on fire. Looking out the window it was just flames. And then I just heard mum say it's in the roof. Yeah, I just remember like walking out of the front door and it just hurt to breathe. It was such thick smoke. I could feel it, like it was like I had to swallow it. And it was just this like panic. There was nowhere to go. This is it. And then we were like, all right, we have to get out. We have to go to the pool. Mum was in the pool. I followed her in, just fully clothed, shoes on. A really short amount of time had passed, a few minutes, but everything was burning. this thing of intense fear, intense panic, but it was like I had this split in me. There's this thing going on that is terrifying and horrible and not many people will ever experience that moment. And then there's this other part of you that still needs to take photos and document this once in a lifetime 
insane moment. It became this need to keep capturing it so that it wasn't all happening for nothing. This is a place that mattered to us. This holds memories, it holds experiences, but it's just a place and like where here where we've survived it and it put it in its context. We could have died, we could have been in the house. We heard a voice asking if anyone was here. He was a volunteer firefighter and he was like, you have to get out now. Fire has always been part of Australia's history, but every summer it's going to be a bigger and bigger risk. And this story definitely feels important for that. I was putting into the visual medium something that other people had experienced and never been able to share. But I think the photos themselves, they're just telling a story, our story. I was just there to capture it. 